Well, we've been talking so much about the number of COVID cases soaring in central Indiana, but recently I've been getting a lot of questions from you saying, Ange, why are you guys not talking about the flu? Um, are we concentrating too much on things like COVID instead of the flu? What is the balance? And joining me live with some important answers about COVID and the flu is Dr. Doug Webb, the Medical Director of Infection Prevention at IU Health. Dr. Webb, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. I try to get some information out to our viewers that can be helpful. And I like to tell people the reason we're not talking about flu season as much is because we're not there yet. Can you talk to us um, about what you're seeing at all in the hospitals right now or what you're hearing about flu activity in Indiana? Sure, good morning. Uh, we're probably not talking about flu much now because we really haven't seen many cases. Uh, every year it's a little bit different. This year, um, we've just not seen uh, any significant number of cases in October or early in November. But uh, every year we do see a cluster of flu cases, and so it's coming. And I think what's important is that we prepare. And uh, the best thing people can do is to get vaccinated. I and mean, that's going to prevent them from getting the disease, and it's going to prevent them from spreading it to other people. Even if they don't get sick, they could spread it to somebody who's vulnerable, who could end up hospitalized and dying from the flu. But what we're seeing now is really just uh, really severe, uh, widespread COVID uh, our hospitals are full with COVID patients. I think over the years or over the last several months, we've learned how to care for these patients better. And so we've, we're seeing less of them in the ICU, less of them on the ventilators, and we're turning them in and out of the hospital quicker. But uh, there's a lot of disease out there and uh, we're trying to prevent people from being hospitalized. So I think if we can get people vaccinated against the flu, that'll prevent other hospitalizations uh, from flu, and then we can concentrate as well on COVID. We only have about a minute left, but I want, in a break, we were talking about how you just feel like the public, people that are watching right now, just do not understand the severity of COVID right now. And, you know, we're getting questions about why are you not talking about the flu when people are thinking that um, maybe people really have the flu, um, but they're getting marked as COVID. Can you explain just really quickly that that's just not the case and that if somebody can trust a COVID test when it's positive, or at least the ones that you are seeing that you feel very confident that there are people in your hospital that have high COVID cases? Well, I don't think there's any question. I think you ask any healthcare system in the city or in the state and, and everybody has a, a lot of COVID patients because it's widespread in the community. And I, again, I think the focus is trying to prevent the spread. Uh, you know, there are a number of people that can get COVID and not have much in the way of symptoms and, and get over it and it not be a problem, but they could spread it to others who are vulnerable that would require hospitalization and, and maybe be, uh, you know, a devastating illness for them. So we're really trying to uh, focus on preventing the spread. And when we see these patients in the hospital, uh, you know, try to care for them as best we can. But, uh, you know, we're, it's kind of a juggling act now with our healthcare systems. We're trying to continue the appropriate care for cancer patients mm. and for patients that need surgery. And we don't want to delay yeah. treatments for appropriate illnesses. And yet we're trying to uh, withstand this uh, onslaught of COVID cases. Yeah. And the last thing we need next is flu cases. Yeah, absolutely. So we Dr. Webb, we have to hit a break right here, but we sure do appreciate you. And I, I just want to say thank you to you and all of the doctors and nurses uh, trying to help us. We'll see you sure. soon. For more information to fox59.com slash links. Scott.